Wisdoms, Wordlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers, welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing the Aquarius full moon happening at anoretic degree. That's a critical degree, y'all. 29 degrees of Aquarius on August 22nd for the Water Tribe. I asked myself, what do I feel like doing today, self? And self said, Water Tribe video okay we're on board with that said the other portion of myself so here we are recording if you enjoy my insanity of self <laughs> be sure to join our channel here on the internet and subscribe we is the vibe water tribe you understand so welcome welcome good to be here in an astrological deep dive with you we are the mad scientists of the internet baby all right cool so we're gonna dive on into this and stay tuned for a patreon everybody by the way for now subscribe and like this content to show your support water tribe here you is so you, my friends, you, we're going to start with cancers. Cancer people, first things first, y'all need to watch the video I did on the Aquarius full moon number two in general, because this is going to inform your experience of the lunation, okay? It's going to inform your experience of this video further. As I said in that video, and I will not be repeating many things from that video, but let me just say, this is a critical master's test. So this video is answering the question, what master's test are you going through? And what new abundant beginning is on the other side of completing it? Water sign, cancers. For you, this master's test and this reward, this gift of Jupiter's conjunction and co-presence at this party, this is happening for you in your eighth house, which interestingly enough, cancer people, this is all about other people's resources, uh, your own investments, your own, um, you know, goals that have come through gaining debt, or your own collaborations that have added to your value in some way, whether that money was an investment, or whether it was gained through a collaboration with others. The whole idea of the eighth house is that it's that sort of other people's resources energy. Also, the eighth house is associated with things like death and transformation. So if there are any cancers out there going through a larger metamorphosis through the loss process, uh, my heart goes out to you and I understand what that energy is like. And what I want to give you in this is that uh, faith and spirit is with you in that process, if that is you, cancer, okay? Because Jupiter is conjunct this full moon. There was another full moon in Aquarius literally a month ago. This is a blue moon, folks. That's what that's called. You can, again, see the video I did on a cancer where I talk more about that there. So over the next month, these themes for you, though, are going to be more of a focal point. You might get an investment with all this Jupiter energy. You might very well get an investment, cancer, because Jupiter is other people's resources. And it is this whole, like, the idea of being able to gain auspiciously right and you have that benefic is the energy that it's called in the eighth house of other people's resources so as a cancer i think that positions you it puts you in a very good position to receive more auspicious investments okay so that's my read on that vibe for you generally cancer as always if you want to get your own reading of your own natal chart customized one hour sessions are available through wisdom drops i currently offer those one hour sessions for 111 us dollars you can reach out to me at wisdomdrops at gmail.com i am scheduling for a few weeks ahead at this point link down below uh, or email written rather down below. <laughs> okay, moving on water signs. And if y'all are doing the timestamps for me, you're, mwah, I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's move on to the next water sign, which is Scorpio. Scorpio, what is this full moon, second full moon in Aquarius bringing for you? First things first, Scorp, this is a blue moon. This is the second full moon in the sign of Aquarius consecutively over the last two full moons. And if you haven't seen my video I did already, Scorp, you need to check it out, baby, because I got details on details. That is literally in the last week or so uploaded to this channel. Also, um, be sure to subscribe here, Scorpio, if you're not, because I put up a lot of Scorpio-specific content I think you'll resonate with. Just saying. Moving on, 
this vibe Scorpio for you is happening in the fourth house. So if you are a Scorpio, this is all about home. The focus over the next month, you're getting the master's test and the reward, so to speak, in nature of home. So where cancers might have seen a bit of um, a change up around a debt that turns into an auspicious reward, you know what I mean? Like, oh, that turned around well because of the Jupiter influence in the eighth house, like we talked about. You Scorpios are experiencing that vibe in your fourth house. So in your fourth house, it might seem like, oh my gosh, I have to really master something at home. I have to really master how I approach either relationships at home or just my foundation of myself. Okay, fourth house, Scorpio, and what that is to you and get in tune with that as a, as a person inside yourself, Scorpio. And from that place of inner knowing, you are suddenly birthed a new beginning. And it is auspicious. There's every reason to believe here, Scorp, for auspicious rewards coming from within. Uh, internal realizations, yo, because Scorpio, this is your fourth house is Aquarius, right? you inherently have a very deep analytical mind as a Scorpio, especially if you add some other key signs onto that, right? Like Mercury ruled signs, for example, all the more so. However, for you, Scorpio, because this is a full moon, it's being illuminated. So is the idea of whatever is inside at that deep fourth house interpersonal level. We just went over an astrology school this past week, actually angular houses. And the fourth house is your innermost self. It's the most private part of the chart. You understand it's the most hidden part of the chart. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> That's like that cheesy, in the middle of the night, my dreams, that Taylor Swift song. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. It's a supermarket pop playlist brain. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But for real though, like the idea of this for you Scorpios is that it's going to be about this inner knowing and awareness that brings you a gift from a place of getting really, really solid and real within yourself about how you feel about something related to society right now. And because it's in Aquarius, that's why I'm saying that because Aquarius is the society sign. And for the collective, this totally measures up to be about our current society and you know, like the societal realities we find ourselves in. So Scorp, don't be surprised if at home you come to some real firm clarity on where you really are, where you really are within yourself on this larger stuff. And it might cause people in your home environment to have a little bit of a shakeup, okay? Because Uranus is definitely still engaged in this larger ongoing conversation between Saturn, okay? Uh, you know, so Saturn and Uranus have this square ongoing between the signs of Aquarius and Taurus, respectively. And those are, yeah, the two planetary rulers, so of that fourth house for you as a Scorpio. So uh, don't be surprised when it turns around to benefit you though, Scorpio. That's all I gotta say. Be firm within yourselves, Jedis. You know what I'm saying? And know where you yourself need to change because it is a time to change. And change and innovation and liberation, it will set you free right now within thyself, Scorpio. So go ahead and do that. Okay, okay. Like this video, boo. Love to you, Scorpio. Moving forward to Pisces. And if you are doing the timestamps, thank you so very much. Pisces people, this is happening the second blue moon. First things first, y'all got to check out the first video I did on this second Aquarius full moon. We went deep. It's SpaghettiOs versus pasta time, baby, and beyond. I did another more astrology-centered one. Um, not that that's not an astrology-centered video, but you know what I'm saying. We talking in code out here these days on the interwebs. But for real, stay tuned for a Patreon, Pisces babes. And I'll just say for you, watch that video I did on the lunation in general, because it's going to help inform your horoscope. You understand? So watch that because it's about the general horoscope and it'll help you figure out how it lands in the context of your chart, Pisces. So Pisces, this is in your 12th house, as I just said, and your 12th house is going to be all about retreat it's a retreating or it's like a super private and super hidden. And you might find like doing some taboo things in private, like going and seeing some really risque like sex worker or something crazy, like out of the norm for you Pisces um, or something just like hidden and in secret or going gambling somewhere. Cause like the 12th house rules gambling. 
um ashrams in the highest vibration y'all are getting spiritual if you're watching my channel that's probably you you're probably going to like some ashram in thailand right now <laughs> or something like that but like it's a 12th house kind of vibe you know what i mean so like don't be surprised when you get the need to do a far away trip and it's like if it's not planned but it's aligned it just happens don't be surprised if that happens pisces and if it does kudos congratulations keep going um, because Jupiter is the rewarder and Jupiter is with this moon. So it's really not a bad energy. It's going to be a really benefic, positive energy, more likely than not. Obviously, check your chart for more details. And, you know, you can always schedule a reading with me, Pisces, if you want, using the Gmail address in the description box. Um, I'm booking a few weeks ahead at this point. So that's there. So, you know, I just think that this is going to be a potent one for you in terms of your inner self. Similarly, to your sister sign Scorpio, as this lunation for them is the fourth house, um, the Cadent house is also existent in the twelfth house, and that factor, um, or I should say, the Cadent house is existent, and these these particular houses are the houses that deal with the subconscious, the fourth house and the twelfth house, and in the in the twelfth house, you have this example of something that is going away so that something else can be born you know what i mean so you have this diminishment so it's hidden and it's like maybe you're unprogramming a psychological thing with this 12th house maybe you're um really getting a breakthrough pisces with this 12th house this 12th house energy pisces can be all about uh breaking through that subconscious blockage and allowing yourself a new perspective that you you see yourself totally differently in, in how you even serve the world with your light because leo is the sun right now which is in your sixth house from pisces right so, and with Neptune, your modern ruler ongoing in your sign, with Jupiter having been in your sign recently and completing its retrograde soon enough, soon enough around the end of this year, you know what I'm saying? Jupiter's coming on back to you, you know what I mean? To bless you for an entire year, Pisces. These are exciting times. And understand that while this is, yeah, 12th house, not a big deal, next month, that full moon's in your sign. And you only get generally, unless you're Aquarius this year, you know what I'm saying? You only get one of those a year. And so for you, Pisces, you got a big moon coming up that's very personal to you. You have a big year coming up with Jupiter's transit through your sign. Jupiter being, of course, the greater benefic and your original ruler uh, planetarily, right? So this is very exciting times. And the 12th house, it seems quiet. It seems mellow. And that's cool. It is, but it isn't because this is conjunct Jupiter, which is you, Pisces, that is your original planetary ruler. And therefore, wherever it goes, so do you. So this energy is almost like a hearkening in of Piscean era, a new, a hearkening of like a new Pisces um, within yourself. And I see you going through this master's test, this critical test in that subconscious space of self-talk, in that subconscious space, because Aquarius is vocal, it's words, you, you know, it's an air sign, even if it's hidden in the 12th house, right, Pisces? So just know it's a breakthrough time. It's a time to break through with your words, how you talk to yourself. Let thy light shine, Pisces. You have Leo in the sixth, so you can shine very much so in your local work environments, whatever that means to you. And um, get yourself on track with your habits, your, your mental health game, your physical health, your spiritual health game. This is a six 12th house activation. You're receiving a test there. You know what I'm saying? It's a test. It's the 29th degree. Check out that original video I did again, again, everybody on the new, excuse me, on the full moon in Aquarius, on the second full moon in Aquarius. I did a whole horoscope for the collective and it will inform your perspective more for this lunation beautiful Pisces. Thank you, Pisces and everybody for all the likes, the shares, the comments, and the support on this channel. I hope this video brought you value. And if it did, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, and share it with others. And with that said, I'll accept questions if you do have them regarding your horoscope for the month ahead, my beautiful water sign tribe. The tribe is the vibe, baby. All right, with that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.